What's up, everybody? Um, it's me, Spence. Um, and today, uh, I'm hoping that my mix is a-okay. Um, if for some reason you can't hear me or I'm too loud, actually, I think I'm a touch too loud. There you go. Um, let's see here. Uh, so anyway, um, we're gonna, uh, kind of free ball it today. <laughs> So uh, a couple of things. First of all, as you can see over on this side, uh, I made an owl this past weekend or early this week. Is it owl? And uh, this one is actually commissioned for a friend um, with this uh, specific flag uh, for for the Ace uh, community. So um, I can't wait for uh, its new owner to be super surprised. And, uh, and to see the reaction, because I love this thing. It's super cute. Um, and I spent the last couple of days really uh, hemming and hawing over what am I gonna do? What am I going to be uh, posting about? Um, and honestly, I, I was like, well, I could do another critter, but I've done a lot of critters lately. I've done all three birds the last three days, so maybe I'll do something else. Um, I was, uh, very kindly, uh, hosted on, uh, on my friend's channel, um, Nukjas. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't heard of Nukjas, haven't, uh, haven't followed their channel, um, she does a lot of fun stuff between Nutty Bites, uh, talking about anime, uh, nail art and everything like that. Um, just all around crafty, crafty channel, um, for various fun reasons and you should follow. Um, and let's see here. I don't know if I could do a shout out, but, um, if she shows up in the chat, I will shout her out because, uh, loves the nutties. Um, got some new followers, so that's awesome. Uh, one of the things that I said I wanted to do, uh, you know, is get, last week was to get a counter, uh, for, um, for the channel. Um, and so that is something that I've done. So you can see up here in, uh, the top corner here, um, I've got a little counter for this project. Um, and, uh, it should be pretty easy to maneuver. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, additionally, I've just made sure to capture the, uh, the stream chat over here. That way I can, um, keep track of you all. Um, additionally, so what am I doing today? Uh, as I said, I was hemming and hawing over what was I going to do. And honestly, I was so very, um, torn by what I wanted to do. And then I remembered seeing this great poncho. Um, it's super easy. It's just a granny square style. Um, and I thought, well, first of all, I think my music might be too loud. There we go. Um, and I thought that's super easy. That's kind of mindless. And I really want to do another poncho because I have three of these beautiful skeins of yarn. I, for some reason, my room color is throwing off uh, the color because this is actually a, a like a burnt red um, kind of color. It goes to purple, then to this uh, tan and this two shades of gold and then another gray in there. I thought it would be perfect um, uh, just in general because I love the color scheme. And for a nice uh, poncho for like a fall day, I thought it'd be pretty cool. So, um, if you're in the chat, let me know, pop in, say hi, and we're just going to go ahead and get started and see how all of my stuff works. Also, one of my friends of the channel uh, said I should like make a border. I have taken that advice. So you can maybe see this, this little black string that is so that I can see where my, uh, where my border is over on that side. Um, this is an ask me anything kind of, uh, stream. Hey JP. So JP, I took your advice <laughs> and, uh, and put a little line in there. 
So this is an Ask Me Anything stream. Otherwise, I'm just going to talk in stream of consciousness and uh, you all will have to deal with it. Because ultimately, this pattern is just a whole bunch of uh, double crochets in a row. But I got this down to the end of the row so that I could see how the, uh, the counter works. I haven't tried it yet. All right. And I did get a whole bunch of new music for this week, um, partially because I just, the relaxing stuff is good. I enjoy re relaxing. I enjoy being um, uh, put in a very zen mood, but today I needed I need to at least start off with some pep, so that's why we, we've got a, a few um, a few new songs to go along with today's stream. Um, and the other thing that I was doing right before the stream was learning about chatbots uh, and how to use them. So lots of new stuff. So now let's see if this works. Do, do, do. Okay, I have to have that up first. Why are you not working? Oh, because my number lock is not on? Okay. All right. So this should work. There we go. Now it's working. Now we're cooking with oil or something. Um, yay, I have a row counter. The whole reason for the row counter though, instead of following a pattern like I was, um, we are actually just keeping track so that I can make all of these um, squares the same size. Because with this kind of pattern you've got uh, a, we've got basically one two three and then you you're gonna have four and five on the on the back side maybe six and they're all the same size and I have three giant skeins of this uh, I think it's merino yarn uh, of, of this um, color scheme so I think it would be pretty cool to have uh, nice sized um a, a, a nice poncho in this scheme i was originally when i bought this going to do a dragon scale um poncho or the same poncho that i made for myself which is the juliet shawl um but then at the time that i was doing i was trying that out I didn't have my L hook for it and really L hook is what you need to make it comfortable for people of larger sizes otherwise the neck hole is too small and it chokes you and that's not what you want in a poncho so I hope everybody's week is going well um, Hey JP, if you're still in the chat, can you tell me if my levels are okay, if the music should be louder or softer, um, or my voice should be louder or softer? <laughs> uh, do I, so JP says, do you want choking people in anything? Well, uh, there would have to be a lot of consent and it, that's not my scene. Uh, at least not, anyway, not my scene. Um, voice is fine. The music is a little quiet personally. Okay, I will turn it up. I'm still working on the mix, so, um, I appreciate the feedback. I have turned up the music now. Great. Okay. And of course now the song is fading out. And we're going to slowly get into some more calming, meditational type uh, music. 
oh yeah lots of new music and that makes me happy um so let's see here i spent a good deal of time this week um working on some tarot stuff uh so i have this like deep feeling that as um our times in isolation go on that people are going to be looking for guidance from other sources so i spent a good deal of time familiaring myself with various um <clears throat> various new spreads about tarot and because uh, i have a pretty solid knowledge of the different cards and what the symbolism means um so now I'm just like figuring out a um, a few new methods of asking questions and interpreting them. Um, the lovely thing about tarot is it's all about the recipient's intuition. And I find that really fascinating because I can tell you what all the sim symbolism means but only you will know how that applies in your life. Um, so I think, I think it's really fun and I hope that people will feel comfortable enough to ask me um, for, for that service. Um, let's see here, what else? See, I'm, I'm finding in these times that my routine is only changing because I don't have the option to go out but it's not all that different from what I was doing before it's just there are fewer options for what I want to do and I don't get to go out to a restaurant um, right now if I wanted to um, there's there's something nice about not having to do the dishes and um, not having to serve yourself and do all the prep work. So it's just stuff I've been thinking about. I've also been thinking about my audio schedule and if it needs to change because everybody's online now and people are pinging me even in the evenings for various things um, but I'm still I'm still gonna give it a try to do do whatever I need to do oh. people are trying to play uh, play Sudoku with me on Facebook and I'm like, I'm streaming right now. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway. So, no questions, JP? Or anybody else? I'm loving all of the art that other people are putting up. I need to slow down. My camera doesn't like it when I go supersonic, apparently. What kind of tarot deck do I use? Great question. So um, I use an app for my personal use. It's called the Galaxy Tarot app, and that uses imagery from the Smith Rider Waite um, tarot. So that's the that's the tarot that you're usually going to see um, in, in any basic practice or any books. Um, the physical deck that I've been using and liking a lot for uh, readings for other people um, uh, is a, an herbal deck. Um, I don't know who it's by and I could find out if you're really interested, but it's an herbal deck. And the nice thing about it is that it matches an herb with each card. Um, 
and as long as they're not, uh, um, blah, 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 <laughs> um, as long as they're not poisonous, uh, you know, you could try using them. Hey lady, I look forward to my reading and are you finishing my footy blanket? I am working on your footy blanket, but I work on the footy blanket off the stream because I found when I was reviewing the video that I did before with the blanket that the light was, um, was weird and it wasn't as interesting to watch. So I use your blanket to kind of calm down at the end of the night. <laughs> Um, and I look forward to doing a reading for you too. This is, uh, one of my friends who, um, I, I do get to collaborate with for, uh, various creative things. Um, basically she does my facials and I make her stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am looking forward to when all of this stuff is done and I get to hang out with people in, in real real space. I feel like everybody's going to just jump off the internet and go see people that they haven't seen in forever or hold a bunch of cookouts. Right? Right. So this, um, this design is going to be kind of piecemeal. Um, and that's the other reason that I'm not doing the big blanket on the stream is because at this point it is too unwieldy to do on the stream. And I feel like my face is on the internet enough that I don't want to do a front facing stream for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's coming along, Kim. Don't you worry. It also takes 20 minutes to do a single row <laughs> because it's five feet across. <laughs> I can't wait till it's done though because you're gonna love it and it's gonna, it's just gonna be awesome. So the other thing I'm watching for is that I set up some chat bots and I want to see if they work. Um, they should start going live soon, I hope. And if they don't, that's okay. I need a mustachio like the owl you made. Oh, like, um, so, so you need this guy, but in, uh, in mustachios colors? Because that'd be kind of cool. Mustachio is a cat, though. <laughs> or do you need me to try to find a cat pattern and make a cat in the style of mustachio? So that, that particular owl is spoken for, I will say. Um, that one is a commission that um, uh, that will be going to its new home on Friday. This is always the tricky part, is um, doing the slip stitch when you started with the chain. Okay, so we will we will do that. Are the stripes on the owl new? I didn't notice them before. So they went on after the initial um, Instagram post, um, and it is a um, it is the the flag for uh, asexual individuals, um, and so oh, I didn't do my hang on. Boop. Did that work? Well, my night bot's working. <laughs> That's good. There we go. Oh, hey, that did work. Awesome. Yay. Let me move this over here so that I can see what people are saying. Um, all right, I will see what I can do about making, making a cat. Um, for you. 
That is not a problem. I definitely have the colors for it. <laughs> Let's see, the other thing I did this weekend, if you follow my, uh, my Instagram, or my Facebook maybe, um, is that I tidied up my stash. I went through my entire stash of yarn. I put all of the small remnant pieces in my basket and then organized the rest of them either based on project or solid colors. Um, so I am pretty proud of myself. That was a major undertaking. It took two Disney movies to get through. And by two Disney movies, I mean Frozen 2 and Pirates of the Caribbean. So maybe four or five hours. Because there was also a lot of rewinding of, of the remnant thread. So now we're getting into like more meditative music, uh, which may be quieter on your end. Uh, but, you know, a big thing lately is just about needing to block out the fear and block out the, uh, the intense barrage of information because whether or not we know it all of that information is uh um good to see you kim have a safe trip to manchester and back um all the information that's um that's out there is just being pummeled into our heads and the whole reason that I'm doing this and that a lot of people are creating stuff is to take a minute to just breathe you know what I mean um, to remember that as long as you're doing what you can do that is the control that you have. You have control over your actions and how you respond to things. So when I can tell my roommate is getting a little stressed out because the news has been on for too long, I have him switch over to something that's more relaxing for him, which is usually murder mysteries. Um... And I think there's an interesting, um, there's an interesting thought behind that or, or reasoning behind that that he may not be aware of. Those kinds of shows like CSI and Father Brown and, um, they all have a package. They have a conflict or a situation the characters address it and usually by the end of the time slot whether it's 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour it's been resolved and that brings closure it brings a satisfying end to something that was very troubling it may not be happy endings in love stories but it still has that ending, you know? That ending that's gonna make you feel better. So, I don't know. I just, I, I was, I was thinking a lot about how we can still stay informed, but not give in to panic. Just, Make sure we do the self-care that's going to keep us healthy, that's going to keep us sane, and keep us in touch with our friends. That's why I'm loving things like, what did I see today? Um, LeVar Burton, I was, I was telling you guys before, LeVar Burton has a LeVar Burton Reads podcast, and I have loved him since he was Jordi LaForge. And I didn't watch Reading Rainbow a lot, but I did watch a lot of Star Trek. 
Um, that's just how I was brought up. I, I had, I had a weird upbringing. <laughs> I grew up overseas and we got Star Trek. We didn't get Reading Rainbow. Um, but, uh, he was like, I'm looking for, I, I want to be doing more live reads and things like that because I feel like it's good, but I have to find, uh, copyright free, public domain free, uh, stuff. And then Neil Gaiman just responded and just like, hey, blanket statement, you can use any of my stories. And I went, oh, yes, I want to hear LeVar Burton read Neil Gaiman, especially some of the creepy fairy tales that Neil Gaiman has read, even though they are not PG. Um, I, I love listening to people with really good reading voices. I love seeing all the art that people are doing. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it, JP? It's so cool. Um, I've, I'm seeing um, some of my friends who are stuck at home um, because they are immune uh, deficient and so they're just protecting themselves. And they are making some of the coolest little homages to horror movies in pop and like chibi art. Um, there's, there's just so much wonderful, wonderful art that's coming out of this age. Um, I hope, I hope that it continues. I hope people continue to be inspired by the world around them. I hope they get in their gardens and get connected to, to the earth that way. Um, I hope they get connected with their families in a healthy way. I think that's the best, um, the best thing to come out of all of this. As for me and mine, um, my dad and I at least exchange words every week or so. Uh, my mom is safely back home in Georgia. Um, so I'm supposed to go down to see her next month, but, um, for, for a surgery, but, um, I think that that is a bad idea now because me flying and then her going into a, a compromised situation, um, it, it feels like a recipe for disaster. And no matter what, um, issues that I have with her um, I still want her to be safe and healthy so I think we're going to have to cancel that trip um, because she has a she has a support system down there that will um, that will step up um, what else what else can we talk about Something I'm looking forward to when there isn't snow on the ground, because we just got snow, and we're apparently going to get more snow throughout the week. Um, I'm looking forward to going down to, um, down to the lake. I don't swim there. I used, I swim there, not this past summer, but the summer before. But this past year, um, there's a spot, there's like a little dam, um, there that I like to go to to just sit and listen to the running water and the sounds of everything. I found out there's a little snake den down where I was sitting at one point. So I moved my sitting spot so I can look at the snake den and not bother them. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to getting to go back there and, and just meditate out there. I am not a, uh, a, a woodlands kind of person. I wish I was. I just don't do well with bugs. Um, even my beloved spiders, I have issues with. I, I'm working on my fear of spiders. Oh, that's a thing. Somebody wanted me to do a, to find a spider plushie that I could make. So maybe I'll look into that. I just found my, uh, pipe cleaners the other day so I could totally crochet around the pipe cleaners and then make some little articulated arms and whatnot alrighty 
I am going to be so inordinately happy with this row counter thing. Because it's way easier to do it this way than to have my little roller one that you can barely see. Okay, ready, ready, ready? Did it work? It works! I don't have to have it, uh, thing. <laughs> um, so, okay, so Chibi Horror. Hang on, I need to find my, uh, my friend who did that. Um,. Nope, wrong one. So this is my friend uh, James Melzer, and I will put his Instagram in the chat. Thanks, I like the road counter too. Um, so yeah, like, He's been doing these little pop art things. And I love it. I love it. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> I do like that one. So he's got like uh, X-Files one. Um, I think this is uh, Skinhead. I, I, don't, I don't know the actual name. Um, but yeah, he did a series of little chibi horror things. It's super cute, right? I mean, not totally, but you know what I you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Um So yeah. So yeah, go follow him. <laughs> he does amazing art. And um for a while he was doing these really cool watercolor silhouettes. Um, and he was doing, uh, when, when that was really popular, he was doing the, uh, the, the poor painting stuff. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Back to what we were doing. <laughs> Getting distracted. It's all right. Share the love. Okay. One, two, three. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just in awe of all the art that's coming out and me doing this regularly for two hours a day, um, really makes sure that I am constantly challenging myself, um, with being consistent, making a schedule. And being purposeful because really anything like this when you're setting yourself a schedule saying I'm going to be on time for X and these are the components that I want to have in what I'm doing um, it really focuses um, focuses you as a business person you know it also focuses you creatively and challenges you creatively. Um, but I think that that purposefulness is something that I was lacking. And I recently um, was talking to one of the um, hosts of a podcast called the, um, the Witch Daily Show. Um, and she was telling me the same thing that, you know, you seem really unfocused and that may be why your spiritual side is kind of out of, out of whack. So getting myself focused has really, um, 
has been a challenge, but it is also showing to be very rewarding as far as getting things done that I've been meaning to do for a long time. Like after this, what I end up doing is editing audio for a couple of hours, working on a pet project that I started um, over a year ago. Um, that, and I can't wait till it's done. Like I have it all recorded. I'm just editing it now and then sending it off to the, um, uh, to the writers, um, of a game. And then we will see how it takes off. It's my proof of concept project to make role-playing games more accessible to the visually impaired or um, people who learn better orally instead of uh, visually. So, um, yeah, and small, vic great victories. Victories great and small, yes. Definitely want to appreciate those little victories. And because we are making all of this art, because we are doing all of these things, when those people who work on the front lines, um, those people who have to work now, um, when they get home, they have all of these wonderful creations to recharge with. And that's the thing is recharging, recharging our batteries, batteries that we didn't know were at 20% for so long. Or we knew it, and we were just ignoring it and charging it the bare minimum to keep going. I find that right now, I'm sleeping more uh, regularly. Like, I still go to bed at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, but I don't get up until 11. So it's way better than having the four hours sleep that I was getting and having to take a break in the middle of the day. Now I don't have to take a break in the middle of the day. I'm getting closer to a full night's sleep all in one go. And I like that. That makes me feel like I'm getting my rhythm back. Like, have you ever gone camping and just not had any, um, any electronics or anything? You were just there with your people in a tent with a fire and you just sleep so well I'm sure there's a little bit of anxiety at first because oh my god I don't know what's going on in the world but once you get over that and realize that unless it's an emergency it's not anything that you need to take action on right now. Um, you get to rest. And rest is huge. Rest is huge for healing your body and your mind. So what are your hobbies? What are you all up to? I'd love to know... If you are creative during this time, what are you doing with your creativity? know that one of my roommates uh, spent a good deal of the weekend um, making a wooden spoon like um, a little camping spoon and I thought it was super cute but it's also very useful because we do um, we play in the Society for Creative Anachronisms and so if you go to an event and you have wooden utensils um, you know, it, it makes it feel more authentic. Entertaining small children. So JP, how are you managing that? 
What are you doing to entertain them? Because I'm sure that is a... Uh, that is an adventure and puzzle building. For sure. And hi, Nick Jess. Nutty Nutty. My ex's mom has a great story of how she made a pirate treasure hunt one year for a birthday. Um, and so what she did was she, she gave them all a pirate map and then they had a bunch of scarves and bandanas and stuff. And so they could all be pirates. And then they, um, had to go down in the backyard and they had to um, look for a uh, a puzzle piece in the um, in the shed that held the like lawnmower and stuff and then they had to run around the there was a tire for for their spring burnings they had to run around the the tire um a few times and then at the end she had made a giant parrot pinata and the parrot had eaten the treasure and so they had to to hit the pinata to um to get the treasure um and i thought that that was just so cool but also took a lot of imagination on her part um because all of the kids were between uh three and six years old so I thought that was really cool. So Nutty, I was on Nutty's channel over the weekend. And so if you would like to follow her and see all of the amazing uh, stuff that she does. I spelled that right so fingers crossed um but yeah um she was doing her nails while i was working on a cocktail and that's my story i've thought about doing other things like learning a language and whatnot but i'm uh limiting myself right now to get a mastery of Twitch, or at least a proficiency in Twitch. Um, and, you know, learn things like how to make that row counter that I made, or how to get Nightbot to work. <laughs> Yeah. All all these little things that will make automating the channel so much easier. So all I have to do is make the playlist for the day and um and decide what project I'm going to work on. Oh, you did the Hot Ones challenge. Aha! Nightbot, it's still working. Yeah! Yes, I do. I do, in fact... Whoops, what did I just do? I do, in fact, know the guy who wrote the book on Twitch for Dummies. Or was one of the writers for Twitch for Dummies. But he's so busy. I don't want to bother him. That's our friend over at uh, uh, our friend T. Morris. Um, his, I think his channel is T. Monster. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure his channel is T-Monster. Um, and he does some fun gaming streams. And then the shared desk is on uh, Twitch now occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, get him in the chat. <laughs> oh, I love stoking fires. But yeah, um, I, I get inspired by other Twitch channels. Like, I have a habit of either watching really gross things or um, putting on stuff that I can just muddle around to. Um, so last night I was watching the Pimple Popper videos. Um, he's streaming while cooking right now. Yeah, see? He's always on. Um, but the other thing I like to do is to put Twitch on, um, on my PlayStation and then just have that going while I'm cleaning or whatever, when I don't really know what kind of movie I want to watch, but I still want to be like supporting, um, other, other streamers. All right, so trying to get the get the loop for this uh, slip stitch, but this is always challenging. Like no exceptions, always challenging. Here we go, and then, boop! Yay! I'm I'm probably gonna be excited about this uh, this row counter for a while. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, so um, T and Pip, um, uh, Philippa Ballantyne, they wrote uh, the Social Media for Writers book. And I, you know, they gave me a copy, signed it, everything. Um, I can't sit down and read it. I have to have an audiobook. That's the only way I learn anything. Um, so I went and bought the audiobook and listened to it over and over. Um, and just learning about consistency and better promotion tools. And honestly, I'm happy right now with what I've got. I don't use Twitter very often except to interact with people who are only on Twitter. Um, I would much rather use Facebook or, um, or YouTube or Instagram or, or Twitch. Um, I feel like Twitter has become a place of anxiety for me, so I'm just not on it. Well, I have a presence on it. People can tag me on it. I just barely pay attention to it. Also, I'm really glad that my Nightbot stuff is working. This makes me very happy. Because there's a lot of stuff you just set up and you hope it works. But you won't know until you go live. Like the first few videos that I've done where I was trying to get music to work and uh, and then you all were telling me you couldn't hear it, even though I could hear it just fine. Um, and I struggle with that still because, you know, I, I set my computer's um, volume down to like 38% because I have those uh, production studio quality um, headphones. And so if I don't turn it down that far, then it's just going to burst my eardrums. There we go. There you go. Too high. 
So I think I need to rope off a square visually of where I need to be. So, hey, I have scrap yarn. I will tack this down at some point. But this will do. I am getting faster with the corners. Um, it's just sometimes, uh, especially with uh, these these worsted um, yarns where they're made up of multiple strands, um, it's very easy to get stuck, you know? So, um, Nutty, what have you been up to as far as um, streaming and, and whatnot? What are you looking forward to doing? As I do the thing that I tell people not to do, which is touch the mic so that I can get all my yarns back in place. I think once I'm done with this row, I may need to check to see how how wide it is. Because I don't want to stop, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too big. But I suppose that all depends on the neck hole that I make for the poncho. Nutty is playing the, <laughs> the quiet game or practicing mime. <laughs> it also could be that she's had to pop off and that's fine. I've been pretty busy. I feel like those of us who are normally working from home are more busy as they help others and work to get people set up. Yeah, I feel like that's true. Um, I find that um, one of the other channels that I'm a part of, I am working on the um, organizational side of things where I'm trying to uh, make sure that they get on the stream on time and get started as soon as they can um, monitoring the chat things like that um, you know everybody's looking for somebody with experience um, because a lot of people just aren't used to things the way they are and aren't used to having their options uh, not be available to them And I am okay to feel things. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yesterday work was... Yesterday was hard for me. I am a lot more social now than normal. I have to remember that I need time for me too. Yes. And that's important. Those of us who are introverts or ambiverts... Um... Or people who are empathic like we feel for all these people who are struggling who are struggling with the with um, either being alone with themselves or not knowing how to fill their time at home 
Um, and since we're all compassionate people, we want to reach out and be like, hey, are you okay? Um, but it is totally valid and acceptable and encouraged to make sure that you're not stretching yourself too thin when it comes to helping others. Because um, going back to tarot, um, there are a couple of, of cards in the Cups family that um, show cups being turned over. And the saying that I get from that is you cannot pour from an empty cup. Um, so share, answer that compassionate side of you, but also remember to watch your reserves. Watch your watch out for your needs as well. So I'm very glad. I'm very glad that you did that, Medi. And hi, Shane. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We are talking about streaming and maintaining uh, a balance for the introverted and ambiverted people who are um, helping out their friends who are stressed out or were extra stressed out at this time we're talking about creative endeavors and you can ask me anything that's actually the whole thing was we're supposed to be doing an ask me anything um so feel free to ask the questions actually Hey, guess what? Everybody who's watching my stream right now, I don't care if you're watching on YouTube or uh, Twitch, take a drink of water. Because I need one, and that probably means you need one too. That was the funniest uh, thing when I was on Nutty's um, show, and Nutty did the drink water thing, and I was like, yeah, I love that you're doing that. And she goes, I learned it from you. <laughs> uh, okay, my, uh, I will have to work on that bot thing. So, um, sorry about that, JP. The Nightbot is a learning curve for me. So I will have to disable a couple of things. Oh, it did the right thing? Well, that's good then. Lovely. I do really enjoy watching all the uh, all the drawing ones because that is a skill set that I am not very good at, but I love appreciating other people who are. I know that the uh, music is really quiet right now. It's because it's one of those meditative uh, tracks, so I can turn it up a little bit. I just have to remember to turn it down when the song ends, because I think after this track, it's a bit louder.
So I have a new tarot deck that I want to get familiar with. Well, it's not new. It's just I haven't opened it since I received it a few years ago. Um, and it is a dragon tarot deck. Um, I'm doing well, Shane. I'm, uh, I'm managing. For sure. I was a little, um, as I was saying at the beginning of the, the stream, I was very indecisive about what I wanted to do for the stream. I had several suggestions that just didn't feel right at the time. Like somebody wanted me to make a squid. Somebody wanted me to make, uh, um, to work on a big blanket. That's all one color. Um, and it just didn't feel right at the time. So I decided to, uh, sleep on it. And this morning I was like, nope, I'm going to do this, uh, this poncho idea because it looks simple enough. I don't need a pattern. I'm just making, I think five or six big, uh, things. Hey Jess, welcome to the stream. Um, we are doing an Ask Me Anything, and I'm basically just talking about life and in general and crocheting uh, what will be a poncho. But basically right now it is a giant granny square. <laughs> um, so yeah, feel free to ask me anything. Um, but yeah, so this... Uh, tarot deck that I have but have not worked with. It's all dragons instead of people. And I love dragons. And I just I want to play with it a little um, to see if it's a good fit for me or if it's just going to be a fun deck that I can occasionally use but not really relate to. We still need to set... Yeah, I know. I know we do. Um... Well, you know where I am Wednesday through Saturday. <laughs> um, I'm sure we will find time and we can probably set that up um, after the stream or, you know, when whenever you get up. Because I know it's, uh, I know it's late for you. Uh, let's see here. I like the poncho with the stripes on it. Yeah, um, that one is pretty cool. Um, you're talking about this one right here, I suppose. Um, that one does look pretty cool, but I've been fascinated with the, with the squares that you just sew together, um, for a couple weeks now. So this is my, hey, I'm going to do the thing that I'm fascinated by. Um, let's see here. All except for one deck, all of my decks have been gifts. Oh, that's really lovely. Um, so the dragon deck was a gift. The one that I currently use, which is my herbal deck, that one I purchased for myself. Like I saw it and knew it had to come home with me. And then I have a Smith Rider deck that was given to me by my stepmom. Um, so, and that one is basically my, my learner deck, kind of getting familiar with all of the sim, uh, symbolism granny squares are like the lego of crochet yes exactly you except you know if you step on them they don't hurt <laughs> they're really good with tarot but i seem awesome with and you know that's probably it probably speaks to you a lot better um i find that my oracle deck never tells another person what is needed oops hang on we started a new row so i'm just so fascinated with this row counter thing um anyway back to the topic um i have two oracle decks and they never talk to anybody but me um so all of the messages are just gobbledygook unless i'm doing it for myself um, however, with tarot, I seem to be able to make more of a personal connection. And really that's, that's the thing is whatever speaks to you and whatever you're able to interpret. Um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with Oracle. There's no, 
there's nothing that says you have to be good at tarot. So, awesome. What deck do you use, if you don't mind me asking? You are, oh, at 84 day forced vacation. Ah, well, that's a thing. I'm, I'm sure you're chomping at the bit to talk to people. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. Connection with my cards until I cleaned every single card. Maybe if you could do that, that could help. That might be. Um, honestly, it's more that... Well, hmm, I don't think I actually did that with my Oracle cards. That might be something to... Uh, to to try out and see if that helps I need to get a sage spray I found out that my cat does not like smoke um, like it makes him cough so I want to get like a sage spray and use that for all my cleansings um, let's see here I've got to buy a tarot deck for a friend there is a Twin Peaks tarot deck, and I think my friend will love it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, tarot decks, especially if people are into tarot, are really cool gifts, um, especially if it reminds you of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got nothing other than it's really cool, and I love it. And I love that I'm being called to do more with it. Because if any of you follow my Instagram, you know that my thing is crafty witch and I mean the witch part. So um, a lot of times when I'm doing crochet, I am meditating on the object, especially if it's for somebody. Um, I'm meditating on um, what do I want for this piece? So like with my with my little Maynard. Everybody say hi to Maynard. Um, when I was making him, I was just like, I want something cuddly, something that will make me smile, something that will make other people smile. And there he is. And he's so cute. I also wanted to just try out the pattern. But as it was going, I was kind of like, you know what? This is going to be something really cute. And then we've got our parrot. My video has stalled. I wonder if it's me. I'm not sure. Um, has anybody else stalled? If, if it has stalled, just restart the page, I guess. But anyway, this is, this is my parrot. Her name is Piper. And I loves her. I love her very much. And so I mixed these two patterns to make a cockatiel. Great. That's the other thing is that so many people are online right now that um, it may be having an impact on bandwidth and stuff. I used to have an old tarot deck with French text and old art. Never saw a similar. Was it like Art Nouveau style? Um, I do love the aesthetic of Art Nouveau. And when I was looking at tarot decks on Etsy, there's um, an Art Nouveau style that I really, really like. It's in my favorites, just waiting for me to purchase once I've got all my other stuff in order. So I want to kind of give this um, the square a nice number. So like 15, 20. Um, 
So hopefully that will be enough. Now I started the stream with part of this already done and that's because, um, well, I don't know how to stop. Let's see here. Twitch is having problems tonight when I streamed earlier, it dropped and that's never happened before. Huh, weird. Hopefully they get that fixed. But yeah, these are very, um, it was totally Firefox. Got it. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got that sorted. Um, I'm glad you're back on. So Shane, are you doing more podcasting? Are you getting ready to do more podcasting? And how about you, Jess? How are you managing your time um, during our uh, our time away from meat space? Sorry, just wanted to check a couple things. Um, let's see here. I've just started a podcast about the 60s show Prison The Prisoner. Oh. So, I don't know much about it. But some, I, I feel like there was an audio drama of The Prisoner, and I can't remember where. So I'll have to look that up after the stream. Okay, so, well, I'm trying to learn how to manage it in a way that I can use it to actually make money. Like, I want to do self-employment stuff, but I need to learn how to manage my time well so I actually get stuff done. I'm very distracted, uh, distractible. Um, one of the things that I think is helping me is have a specific space that forces me to focus on one task at a time. Yep. Yep. Um, so with regards to that, um, uh, Jess, we, what I have done with regards to managing my time, um, is that I use my Google calendar obsessively. Um, I have a Google calendar, um, where I have like six different calendars in it. I have the calendar for this stream. I have the calendar for the Penny for a Tail stream, which is one that I'm on quite a bit. I have a calendar for game school, which is one that is currently in production for this season. And I have uh, a calendar for my audio work. Um, and since I don't have any paid work right now, I'm working on my pet projects, which are like a proof of concept of, um, making an audiobook version of, a of a role-playing game handbook. So, um, there's, that is my preferred way. Um, so having a space 
would be nice and um, I'm currently working on potentially getting an office space um, because of the outbreak that's been in flux um, and then other than that just setting aside time and letting my roommates know hey from this time to this time I'm doing X so um, and just really putting myself through it and giving myself rituals um, to do it. So like an hour before this stream starts, I go and I I have an alarm that shows up on my phone and that tells me, okay, I need to go and make the playlist for the day. I need to make sure all my links are up to date on the um, for the show notes. Um, and then I spend half an hour after the stream getting things on YouTube updating the show notes and um, um, and making sure that everything matches on YouTube. Um, yeah. I also don't know why my Fibromancers for Hire uh, website does not work in the chat, but I will figure that out afterwards. And yeah, that hour is also used to spend time finding things like finding my little counter for what row I'm on or working on getting familiar with Nightbot or whatever improvement to the channel I think I can do. My next one would be to um, figure out a uh, chat UI that actually works because I tried it a couple of different times and right now I've just got the chat popped out um, as a separate window. So I've seen advice of not focusing on managing time, but energy, your energy may not be during business hours, but when you work, you have energy even at 3 PM. Yes. Okay. So that is an excellent point, JP. So for me, my time that I focus best on work is between 7 p.m. and midnight and that is when I have the energy and the focus to actually work on audio stuff so before that even though I wake up at around 11 a.m. noon um, I I just don't have the focus to work on any work work um, anything that that requires me to use my brain <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely think that's valid and finding out what your body's rhythms are is very important. Um, and I do sometimes work later than midnight, but that's ultimately, again, listening to my energy levels and being like, okay, I'm starting to drift off and I need to stop now. Deadlines do help. Um, with focusing me, but with my own pet projects, uh, it's harder to keep focused. So that's why I'm making myself a schedule and doing everything I can to stick to it. Um, I will say that Friday this week, I will be a little late. Um, and the reason being is that I have to drop off, um, that owl that you saw earlier in the stream. Oh no. Well, the good news is that this video will be up on YouTube afterwards. So if you go on YouTube and you search for uh, Resonant Moon, um, you should find me. But let me see if I can find that link and I can put that link in the chat because I don't think I put it in the Nightbot.
we go. All right, so here is the link to my YouTube channel. So you'll be able to watch this after the fact. Um, I try to post them within um, an hour after uh, um, within an hour after um, the stream is over just because otherwise I will forget and then come back and be like oh yeah I meant to post that two months ago whoops well with me doing these more frequently I don't think that's going to be a problem but we'll see But again, it's all about setting up those habits. I'm wondering about what you just said about delivering the item. Aren't we supposed to be social distancing? Isn't sharing an item the same as being there? Are you worried about transferring the virus? I know that I do not have the virus. So if I had the virus, I would be very concerned about um, giving it to another person. Um, but my household is clean and uh, you know none of us are showing any signs of illness whatsoever um, so I'm not worried about it um, but it is always a risk um, so one of the things I do is I spray it down with um, disinfectant spray before I send it out um, well now you do Shane <laughs> Um, but yes, that, that was a concern of mine when I got a subscription of one of the, or when I got a commission for one of the birds. Um, and so I made sure that I sprayed it down before I sent it out. Um, that way, I don't know, just being overly cautious. Um, as far as a delivery, um, basically someone who lives in the household of that person um, who's receiving the item is coming to get the item and we are going to do like a <laughs> one of those really uh, you know those like spy or, or crime movies where there's like okay you're gonna put the briefcase down and then you're gonna back away and then I'm gonna pick the briefcase up and yeah so we're gonna do something like that <laughs> um, and then we are going to give a social distance hug, which is from six feet away, we will pantomime that we are hugging each other. And, uh, yeah. Or we'll do the Jane Austen bowing. I do enjoy that. I had to, um, when the outbreak was first starting, I had a planning meeting for the, for a local Ren Fair. And, um, we all ended with a little bow <laughs> to each other and it's like, okay, this is how it's going to work until this is all over. Which sucks because I miss, I miss hugging people so much, but you know, it is what it is. We got to keep each other safe. Right, right. Oh yeah, no, I'm all about the Jane Austen uh, uh, style romance. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, I'm hoping that on the dating sites that I'm on that I'll get some like love letters or whatever. Because that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. I went to my grandparents um, last week and saw my grandmother and my and my aunt and my mom, and I couldn't hug any of them. And that was very distressing. Okay, so there's that. Let me get out my tape measure. So it's about 18 end to end, or corner to corner, and 12 across. It's not bad. I think, I think, 
that I can call this one done and start working on the next one. What do you all think? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. All right, so we're going to keep it at 15 rows. So I'm going to take a bit of a chunk and snap that off. And now you can see how I start one of these once I sew in this end. The fun part is going to be when I figure out how to crochet them all together. I know there's a way to do it, but my fingers are sometimes kind of wonky. And I just want to say, I really appreciate all of you being here and hanging out with me while I, while I chatter and, and make stuff. Like, it's really nice. And I hope this is as relaxing for you as it is for me. All right, so if you're wondering how to start one of these, basically you start with a slip stitch and you chain one, two, three, and then back in this first chain, you're gonna make two more double crochet. One, two, and one, two, chain two, and then do three more double crochet. I'm going to have to go here in a minute. Yep, that is A-OK, -okay, Shane. We will talk to you soon. Yeah, um, there are several grocery stores in our area who uh, that are that have seniors only um, shopping hours but they are super early and me and my roommate do not wake up that early my roommate is um, is in that category but neither one of us wants to get up that early to go shopping So it's just three double crochet and then chain two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochet and chain two. <laughs> um, one, two, three. And so now I'm going to try out this other functionality of my row counter, which I set up. Escape. Haha, -ha. we reset to zero, to zero. And then we had one. Yay! Um, it, it does kind of look like a shell at first until you close it up. And so then one, two, three. And into this chain two, we're going to do two more. And so it's only on the corners that you're going to be doing the chain twos. So because in each chain two, you're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Someday I will do my um, fan stitch uh, uh, gauntlets. And those ones, it looks like you're putting a bunch of shells um, together. I get what you're saying, though. Good night, Shane. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you know what? We're on chain two or row two, so I should make sure that I list it correctly. These early rows, they go by so fast that sometimes it's hard to keep track. So what other burning questions do you all have for me? So I'm on, I'm starting chain, or er, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, apparently I did one too many uh, uh, double crochets in this first section. Do I have any favorite comics or web comics? Uh, I'm reading one right now called Namesake. Oh, that is a good question because I do read web comics. So I have the um, the app. I think it's called Webtoons. Where's my phone? Yeah, Webtoons. Um, so I am following on Webtoons. Um, Siren's Lament, um, Sub Zero, Game On. Is that what it's called? Oh, it's called Let's Play. Sorry. Um, Let's Play, Sub-Zero, Lore Olympus, Brimstone and Rose, and uh, Siren's Lament. Um, my favorite one out of those is the um, Sub-Zero. It's uh, about a fictional, vaguely Japanese kingdom um, where there are warring clans who have uh different dragons that they follow and uh the two rulers who uh the dragons um i guess inhabit um have gotten married to bring peace to the lands and it's the artwork is beautiful i am a sucker for a good love story um so yeah that's my current favorite, although Laura Olympus is also adorable and fun and a little intense at times. But I'm really glad that Laura Olympus is getting, um, hopefully still getting a, a series, like an animated series. Because I love that aesthetic too. Um, if we want to go old school... There's a webcomic um, called Evil Incorporated that I was following religiously when I worked in the call center because um, I always uh, I always very much identified with the character Lightning Lady. Um, she would she was the receptionist for Evil Incorporated and her intro would be something like uh, 
Evil Incorporated, how may I harm you today? Uh, and, and other snarky remarks that made me chuckle very much. So yeah, that's a great question. Great question. Okay, now everything looks correct. That's the good thing about crochet, though, is that you can, um, you can always go back and take it out if it's not right. So for a minute, when I first read your comment, I thought you had said, do I have any favorite cookies? And I'm like, oh, man, to make or to eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slip stitch over to this middle um, space because it's just going to be easier for me in the long run to, uh, to do the joining there um, than it will be to do it on the corner. Yeah, and that, that happens. Um, so definitely, um, you know, feel free to check out the the YouTube page. And I know that uh, Twitch will keep the video on for a while, um, so you can always come back and watch it. Um, the nice thing about both of those is that you can play them at different speeds. So if it's too slow for you, you can always just speed me up and hear what I sound like as a chipmunk. <laughs> Um, I don't know how that technology works, but I, I use it frequently when I'm doing, um, uh, what you mean, Jigger? When I'm doing audio proofing, because narrators, lovely creatures that they are, they read slowly. Thanks, Jess. You have a good night, too. Um, they read slowly. They do this for a reason. Um. It is to prevent errors and it works well I used a lot of their techniques when I was recording my super secret project um, but it can be a little tiresome to listen to at that speed when I can bump it up to 1.25 speed and still hear everything very clearly and that's how I listen to most of my books anyway so unless it is a narrator that talks really fast um, I generally listen to books sped up so that I can um, so that I can work more effectively Also, the long silences are, are a bit, um, there are companionable silences, and then there are just voids. And having, uh, having voids is difficult for, for some people. If you're just watching my channel and to just watch me crochet, go for it. I mean, it's very relaxing to watch this. It's very relaxing to do it. Um, but if you're also here for the conversation in my melodious voice, um, Thank you. I am tickled pink that you are here with me, that you are watching, that you are um, engaging, that you're sharing. And I know we're coming up on the last 20 minutes of the show, partially because my very long uh, piece just ended. <laughs> So, I want to take this opportunity to uh, say if you like what I'm doing, you can go ahead and follow me by hitting, I think it's the heart button up top, 
like right up there um, and that will help you follow me um, you can also subscribe to my channel with the link that is down below it's like down there ish um, I do these videos um, Wednesday through Saturday 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I will try to be on time every day and if I will not be on time I will let you know um, that's just that's my work ethic <laughs> if I say I'm gonna be somewhere at some time I will be there and if not I will let you know sometimes I will think I'm gonna be late and then I'll actually still be on time because I tend to be early for everything oh dear See, I did that thing again where I forgot to add my rose. Alright, starting row four. And Nightbot has been awesome about putting all of my links in the chat in the chat. In the chat. But I will also have them in the show notes if you are watching later on. I hope you all are staying hydrated and finding joy in the little things. Speaking of being hydrated, everybody take a drink of water, tea, whatever you're drinking right now. So I don't know if I'm going to continue this project tomorrow or if I'm going to try working on the cat that was requested in the chat earlier. We will see. Yeah, this gets to about the size that I can manage on the stream um, easily and that's the big key is making sure that I can manage it on the stream doesn't mean I'm not working on other projects outside of this but this is two hours for me to do something a little something and talk to people And I appreciate you all so much for being here. Um, it, it makes my day to be chatting with you, um, to see that new people have followed. Um, you know, as a, as a content creator, especially one who's been creating stuff since 2006, but never really under my own banner. It's a nice feeling. Nope. Started my chains one too early. There you go. I think what I may do is um, I really want to look for a good cat pattern before I uh, before I start on that cat that my friend requested so I'll probably be doing these granny squares again tomorrow um, just so that I can show you how they all look put together or at least against each other 
I don't think I'm going to get all six done tonight. But we'll see. I still have audio editing to do. So there's that. Well, all right then. I put in a new song for my last song, which is way more upbeat than before. Um, so this is the song that I was using to end the show last week. Um, however, you know, we've spent this good amount of time being reflective and meditative and all those is. So I'm going to bring the tempo up over the next uh, 11 minutes or so. Um, just to really bring us back up. Yeah, um, I want people to remember that you are more than the world around you. You have control of what you do. You have control over your actions and reactions. You have control over how you treat your friends, your family, your loved ones. And I hope that this has helped to ease some of whatever might have been making your mind go all monkey brained um, it certainly has helped me it's helped me get some stuff off my chest it helps me refocus on the cool things that are going on in the world the cool people that we have in our lives the cool creators that are making our feeds a lot brighter small joys, small victories, speaking of small victories, did I do it again? I might have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, this is row five, I did it again, I will get better at making sure that my row counter is up to date, but I'm so happy that it's there, now that I'm even, well you probably know I've talked about it so much today. Um, let me turn down my music just a bit, because I realize you all probably aren't hearing me very well. This is a lot louder than, uh, the meditative music that we had before. See, so yeah, I think tonight I'm gonna have a little soup. Get down to business as far as, uh working on this project. It's a short project, but because I'm editing it, it's taking forever. And then start plotting, figuring out what the next thing is going to be. Maybe watching some videos that make me happy. Let's see. I do want to give a verbal shout out to Kevin McLeod, who uh, has created all of the wonderful music um, that I've been listening to, that you've been listening to during this video. Um, I love, I love a lot of his stuff, and I've used it 
throughout and um, you know just very very grateful for it I'm grateful for all the other creators out there who are putting stuff out there for free um, for people to consume for people to have something other than the news to watch um, I'm grateful for all the podcasters all the twitch streamers all the youtubers I'm grateful for you all I'm glad that we have this community of people that really can support and build each other up and make cool stuff and while this channel isn't for kids uh, specifically um, I am trying to curb my vocabulary <laughs> because I want, you know, I have friends with small children and if they feel like watching this, I want them to be able to watch with their kids too. And know that, that, uh, that Spence loves you. I love you all very much. All my nieces and nephews, well, I have one niece and like, how many nephews do I have now? <laughs> I have four nephews. Um, I have nephews from, nephews and nieces from, from my friends and, and whatnot, and I love you all. And I hope that you give your parents an easy time after relaxing with me. There we go. And I'm going to do this thing where I'm going to actually skip to the next track because I did not plan my stuff out very well. So just bear with me one second. <laughs> this song is called Daily Beetle and it just makes me happy. <laughs> Remembered. We remembered. Two, three. Yeah, it's Daily Beetle. It's kind of cute. It's kind of jumpy. Can't see me, but I'm bouncing. Okay, maybe you can see me a little bit. Um, and I will post pictures of anything and everything that I do that's really cool on my Instagram, which is uh, uh, crochet underscore cosplay. You've got the link up on the screen over there, and you've also got the link in the chat, um, and it will be in the show notes. Um, me and my friend Val, we do crochet commissions, and you can find our website at fibermancersforhire.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook. Facebook has a different thing because, well, stuff. And it's called Weird Creations. So, Weird Creations, they hire fibromancers. But they being we, you know, it's all the same. It's all the same! Um, and so that is facebook.com forward slash Weird Creations NH. Weird spelled with a Y. Turn that down. Just, just a smidgen. I feel like I'm being drowned out. That's fine, though. Um, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's awesome. When you're part of a team. And, uh, yeah, you'll see, slowly but surely, see little updates to the, the stream as I figure out what I'm doing and make things a little more effective. And um, if you're interested in uh, asking about any um, commissions, like I said, I do sanitize the products before they go out, um, so I make sure that, you know, nobody's getting sick. Um, 
no one at my house is sick, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, but we are still being in self-quarantine just out of an abundance of caution because a lot of people we know have autoimmune deficiencies. I have an autoimmune deficiency, but mine just means that my immune system is overactive. So yeah, we're just going to roll out the next uh, two minutes just uh, doing a little bit more crocheting. And I will be doing this um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern if you feel like uh, hanging out with me live on Twitch. And um, if not, like I said, it will be available on YouTube. Um, shortly after the broadcast ends. And I guess there's nothing much else to say about that. So we're going to let the song ride out and ride out right along with it. Alright everybody, thanks again for hanging out with me today, and I'll be back tomorrow with more crocheting.